Hey guys, it's Kelly, and I'm here with my day two wrap up. Oh, I don't know what that was, I'm suddenly a 13 year old boy. Okay. Hey guys, it's Kelly, and I'm here with my day two wrap up for the Booktubeathon, as well as my entry for day two's contest. So, yeah, here's what I've done I finished Alfred Hitchcock Presents Stories They Wouldn't Let Me Put on TV Part 2. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. It was, there are some really good stories in here. Um, I read about 35 pages of this today, yeah, I read 35 pages of this today which brought me to the end of the book combined with what I read yesterday. Then I read Fight Club by Chuck Palinwick and honestly like... <sighs> wow, I'm, I'm still like just in shock and in awe of this book, it was amazing, like amazing, <laughs> just so good. Read it if you haven't. And this was 218 pages. Then I read Sleeping Beauty, which was great because I just absolutely zipped through it. Um, this, I mean, was good. It's, you know, just a kid's fairy tale, but really enjoyed it. And yeah, this was 100 pages. And I'm currently on page 34 of Brideshead Revisited, which I'm really enjoying so far. Um, this is actually, I think, how far I got the last time I started reading it. So hopefully I'll get further this time. Um, I do actually... I'm hoping I'll read about another 100 pages tonight, but I just wanted to get this film so I could get it edited and up before I go to bed. Um, yeah, enjoying this so far. So this also fulfilled my challenge to read a book that is blue or has blue on the cover. This fulfilled the challenge of being a book that I really want to read, and yeah, it definitely didn't disappoint. This fulfilled the challenge of reading a book with by an author who shares the same first letter of your last name. My arm's getting so sore because my camera is really heavy and I'm holding it vlogging style but it's really not a vlogging camera. <laughs> um, and this is my book for the challenge of reading someone else's favourite book. This is my best friend's favourite book. So yeah, I kind of feel like I have to like it. <laughs> so that brings the total number of pages I read today up to 377 and yesterday after I finished filming, I read about another nine pages? No, not nine. I read about 13 pages. So <clears throat> yeah, that takes my total number of pages up to a lot. I will work it out. And so yeah, that takes my total number of pages read so far this readathon up to 524. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, today was really great because I have Tuesdays off university. So I got a lot more reading done than I did yesterday. I pretty much just spent the entire day on my bed reading. Not the entire day, I had other things I needed to do. Which is why I only read 377 pages, but yeah, I've already finished three of my seven books. So I'm thinking I might be able to make it. Today's challenge is to recreate a scene from a book. So here is my entry for that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I can't act, so I thought I would go for a scene where I didn't have to speak, and in case you guys couldn't tell by what I did and my annotations, um, that was the scene from Twilight where Edward is creepily in Bella's room watching her sleep, which could be cute, you know? I'd imagine it's cute to watch your significant other sleep, but not when they're not your significant other and they don't know that you're there. It's just a bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that is it for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!